Hey, what's up, everybody? I just wanted to go over the week's workouts real quick, and uh, I decided to put my ugly mug in the corner just to scare the crap out of everybody. Anyway, uh, let's go through this real quick. We're going on week five of our strength programming, uh, strength bias programming. And as you can see, starting tomorrow, we got an assigned warm up relatively the same as last week. We're going to drop the deadlifts down to 60%, doing an EMOM, 8 by 3 So these are speed sets, You're really focusing on speed and technique. Don't give up your technique. We're going to be going a little bit heavier than the last time you did the 8 by 3 Last time you did the 8 by 3 which is like three or four weeks ago, three weeks ago, it was 50%. So we're going up a little bit more. So I hope everybody's keeping track of your weights because it's really the only way this stuff's going to work. Keep telling you that. Keep emphasizing. That's what Wattify is for. Conditioning is kind of neat. It's called a Lucky 13. This was actually one of the first uh, workouts I ever did in a competition at CrossFit 305. Those guys put this together, so I'm kind of, kind of using it. Um, long story, it was kind of funny story when we went down to that place for our competition. It was like a Turkish prison. It was back in the beginning days, like nine years ago. Eight minute AMRAP. Seven, it's a couplet, seven squat cleans, seven chest slap and pull-ups, or hand release, or regular push-ups, depending on what level you're at. Here's the different weights. You're going to do seven squat cleans, then you're going to do seven push-ups. You're going to keep going back and forth, doing as many rounds and reps as you can in that eight-minute time cap. Once the eight minutes is up, you're going to go right to the next thing. You're going to be doing pull-ups. So make sure that you are set up so you can go right over to a pull-up bar. Make sure you have... A station that is assigned for you only. The last thing we want you to do if it's a bigger class is two people walking up to the same pull-up bar trying to do pull-ups at the same time. That might look a little weird. Actually, it may get us some hits on YouTube. Um, going after that two-minute AMRAP of pull-ups, which is a long time. Watch your grip. Watch your tears. Then you're going to be do, doing two minutes of double under. So your jump rope should be sitting. It should be like ready to go. It shouldn't be t all tied up in a knot, and then you got to play around with it. It should be sitting on the floor. It should be prepped and ready for you to take two steps off the pull-up bar and grab that jump rope and start hounding at these double unders or attempts, if you may. Then after that, guess what? You got a full minute to do as many burpees as you can. So each one of these is reps. Okay, so you got to kind of try to keep track of your reps. Have a piece of chalk. You don't have to write. 20 inch numbers on the ground you can write smaller numbers I'm not really worried about you cleaning up we have a cleaner but um, you know it is called the playground so I guess we can chalk up the playground if you decide you want to work on your uh, powerlifting and accessory movements the superset this Monday is Bulgarian split squats which are phenomenal um, you should add them into your arsenal as an accessory movement a little YouTube video if you want to click it, then no rest. You go over right over to bent over dumbbell rows, each arm, and then you get 120 second rest. You're doing four sets of eight on each. Extra credit is the Prowler. Tuesday, we got the warm up assigned. Skill work is muscle up progressions. We're going to try to spend a little bit of time on this, and it doesn't matter what level you're at. We're going to try to work on your muscle up progressions or try to get you a little bit stronger at your ring dips, whatever it may be, ring pulling. Uh, pull-ups, um, you know, we're going to try to show you what a false grip is if you don't already know. And um, the coaches got a assigned uh, video that they've seen, so they're going to work on your progressions. The lift, 4 by 10 every three minutes. I know the three minutes seems a little long sometimes, even for me. I sit there going, man, I should do it like every two and a half minutes maybe. But in order to do this right, to make sure that you're 100% recharged, it should be around three minutes. Last time we did this was 4 by 12. Now you're doing 4 by 10, and it's every three minutes. You're going to add about 5 or 10 pounds. And I see good percentage of the class not able to finish. They're getting into the third or fourth set, and they're crashing at like seven or eight reps. So went a little too heavy. Really want to try to get the 4 by 10. Conditioning. So it's five rounds. So you're going to get 30 seconds to do as many hang 
squat snatch, full snatch, snatch, whatever you want to call it. So you're from the hanging position, you're going to do some full snatch. 30 seconds, as many reps as you can go. It's not very heavy, as you can see. Okay. After the 30 seconds is up, the coach is going to scream, rest. You get a 30 second rest. Then you're going to move over to the next station. You're going to do 30 seconds max box jumps. I will tell you that I would be very happy if you step down on your box jumps. If you're rebounding off the bottom, there's a, there's a, there's a risk of a Achilles tear. So jump down. I mean, step down, jump down, step down, and maybe even uh, be careful on these that you don't uh, bust your shin open. After the 30 seconds of max box jumps, you get a 30 second rest and then you're going back to the hang full snatch. So you're going back and forth for five rounds on each. So it's a total of 10 minutes. So a minute, a minute. That's two minutes times five rounds, 10 minutes. Giant set, shoulder, shoulder shocker. If you didn't do this last week, if you, it's, it's awesome. You're going you're gonna to actually get a good shoulder uh, workout. Extra credit is the heavy yoke carries. We're going to be focusing on that all the way throughout this strength program. Wednesday's conditioning level one, 45-minute AMRAP. So you're going to do 20 calorie on a salt bike. You're going to do one power clean at about 80%. Okay. You're going to do 15 ring rows. All right. Level two, 45-minute. Hold on a second. We're at the gym working. What else is new? It's Sunday. 45-minute AMRAP. Hope everybody's enjoying football, bastards. 45-minute AMRAP for level 2, 25-calorie assault bike. One power clean at 85%. You can either do 10 chest-to-bar pull-ups or one rope climb. All right? Make sure you bring long socks for Wednesday if you're doing rope climbs. Level 3. You're doing 30 calorie assault bike. Guys like Josh, that's nothing. One power clean at 80, at 90%. So we're stepping it up a little bit. And then either one legless rope climb. Oh, I'm sorry. One legless rope climb plus another rope climb. Listen, you, you guys got to know how to kind of modify these workouts. So in other words, if you're able to kill this and you know, the salt bike and the power clean, but you're just staring there, standing there, staring at the rope because you can't get a legless. Just do two rope climbs, man. It's not the end of the world. You just don't get a friggin' RX for level three. That's RX plus rather. No big deal, man. This is training. This isn't competition. All right. Thursday, you got the same warm up. I really like focusing on the bird dogs and the hip airplanes because if we stick with that for a few weeks, you're going to see some. Uh, relatively good changes in your mobility skill isometric back extension this is kind of neat so we're going to do just do like three by three for 30 seconds you're going to put a weight on your back and you're just going to just hold up in a vertical position on the back extension there's a youtube video if you want to watch it the lift back squat five by three at 85 percent kind of kind of going up a little bit conditioning it's four time 200 meter row 50 pistols L3, 25 pistols L2, 50 air squats L1, and then 50 swings, and it's different weights. So again, you can mix and match a little bit, but just kind of make your notes and modify. Like for instance, I'm not doing pistols right now, so I'd probably do the 2,000 meter row, 50 air squats, and then 50 swings with 70 pounds, which would be nothing for me. Super set, weighted spread eagle seat sit-ups. These are awesome. Uh, we kind of do these stretches once in a while when I teach the class. I'll do these stretches three by ten one arm bench press watch these videos too these the linear progression or what am I saying linear progressions the unilateral work is I mean Dan I'm a big fan of Dan John and he really emphasizes emphasizes on it because a lot of times so you know why you see how I put a lot of one arm one leg stuff is we're not even one side stronger than the other. So you should do some unilateral work because it will actually start to um, even everything out, kind of align you, if that makes sense. Extra credit, backwards sled pulls. Friday warm up, then bench press, eight by three at 60%. Remember we're going a little heavier. Conditioning is 10 minute EMOM. So 
Every minute on a minute, you're going to do five push press, then plus five bar facing burpees. So every minute on a minute, you do five, five, not a ping pong. This is going to hurt when you start getting up past like five, six minutes. That's <laughs> no, from the floor, by the way, push press. So you pick up the bar, you clean it, five quick push press, then bar facing burpees. That means you got to face the bar, do a burpee, jump over the bar, face the bar, do a burpee five times. So talk to me later. Yates Row, superset Yates Row and stationary dips. Saturday we got a cool one. I, we're going to stick with this Pet Rock. It's uh, one of mine that I made up. My Pet Rock. My version of Pet Rock. It's called Pet Rock. Bowser to Pet Rock. I'm going to change it right now. Bowser to Pet Rock. So together as a, two, a team of two, you got to run together with that ball. Um, so I, I gotta love these guys that are running with that 30 pound ball. It's gonna get heavy quick. So it's three, 400 meter run. You can switch. You know, you take it, I take it. Once the workout starts, the ball cannot touch the ground. If the ball touches the ground, you both gotta do 10 burpees each. So three, two, one, go. 400 meter run. You get back. You guys split up as you will. 100 wall ball. If you're good, maybe Mather will show you, like they did in the grid. When you do the uh, change out of the partners, the person throws the ball up in the air and they move out of the way and the other person jumps in, and grabs the bar and keeps going. No stopping. Or just hand a ball over. But if that ball hits the ground, because you know how I feel about that, um, the ball hits the ground, you got to do 10 burpees. Um, I know people are going to be doing burpees because people love burpees. So your first round is 100, then run again, 75, run again. 50 and you're going to finish with a run so you're actually going to do a full mile and 225 wall ball uh between the two of you so good stuff man hope everybody had a great weekend and i'm looking forward to seeing you guys this week maybe i'll shave tonight